we all got together here today on this boat to look at the, the distribution of, of plastics, microplastics, nanoplastics in the, uh, the San Francisco Bay, trying to figure out how much is there and where it's coming from. So we've known about litter and larger pieces of plastic for a long time, but only more recently have we realized that these teeny tiny plastic particles can cause some big impacts. The San Francisco Bay is a great place to be a laboratory for plastic pollution because we have a really dense urban population and we have a bay geography that traps persistent contaminants like plastic. So, I mean, every watershed is contributing to this one singular ocean. So, you know, really getting a handle on, on the issue here, understanding where it's coming from, and framing that in the context of the global issue, the global distribution, the global impacts, the fact that we find microplastics in over 1,000 different species, the fact that microplastics are sponges for all these hydrophobic pollutants. That is the harm, the potential for harm out there. And if we can get a handle on it here, we can ensure that San Francisco and this entire bay isn't a major contributor in the future. So first we're going out into the bay and we're collecting baseline data on microplastic particles in the surface water, in the sediment at the bay bottom, and in small fish that live in the bay. We're also traveling out the Golden Gate to the marine sanctuaries to monitor water there. We're gonna take all that data and we're gonna create a particle tracking model that can track or predict where plastic will end up when it moves out of the bay and into the ocean environment. We're also looking upstream. We wanna see where the plastic comes from. So we're looking at the water that gets discharged to the bay. Now that includes wastewater. So that's all the down the drain uh, water that we have in our homes, our urban environments that goes to the wastewater facility. And then we're also looking at all the stormwater runoff when the wet season comes here in the bay and storms wash all kinds of contamination from our urban ways into streams and creeks. We're looking at that to see what kind of microplastic particles might be in there. Now all this information is going to get plugged into a big discussion and recommendations for action. So we're trying to create science that's going to be very influential and informative to help us choose the best actions to prevent plastic pollution, whether it's a, a government agency or a policymaker, a business that's designing products, or an individual. We'll have all the data that we need to make the best next steps for reducing plastic pollution. <laughs>